so case three, it's a glaucoma case, and the ERG kind of confirms our clinical picture. So we have a 62-year-old white male who has uh, a primary open angle glaucoma. Uh, we stage it as mild in the right eye, moderate in the left eye. Patients on Visulta and Ropressa, uh, both, uh, both at night. Uh, patient reports good compliance. The corneal corrected IOP uh, by the uh, ORA is 12.3 in the right eye and 16.7 in the left. The hysteresis is 10.8 in the right and 9.9 .9 in the left. Uh, and so that hysteresis number in the left concerns me. Uh, there's some asymmetric IOP that concerns me as well. The, uh, the PACs are 521 and 520. And so here is the, uh, the OCT on the right eye, and we won't get uh, too down and dirty in this, but, uh, but essentially the, uh, uh, the ganglion cell complex pattern uh, looks stable. The uh, nerve fiber layer pattern uh, looks looks fairly stable. You know, glaucoma is a pattern, a top topographic pattern-based disease, and so uh, I always like to look at those patterns to see if it's changing as time goes by. The ganglion cell complex is being measured, uh, and a trend trend-based uh, analysis here, uh, and that that looks pretty pretty good, pretty stable. Um, and the uh, the nerve fiber layer is being flagged. But you know that that's that's fairly stable as well. So the right eye uh, OCT looks looks uh, looks pretty good. The left eye OCT uh, does not look nearly as good. And so we can see the ganglion cell complex is really kind of uh, washed out. You know we're getting red uh, across the board. And it looks though is the ganglion cell complex is changing. But you know I caution you to read too much into that because um, the floor, the ganglion cell complex floor, is usually about 70 microns. So we're kind of below the floor. So, so who knows what these, these numbers mean. Um, but the, the left eye is also being flagged uh, from a nerve fiber layer standpoint. So I would say that I'm concerned with the left eye that the patterns, especially the, the infratemporal uh, pattern, is changing as time goes by. The ganglion cell complex is being flagged, but again, we're not sure about that because we're at floor, and the nerve fiber layer in the left eye is being flagged. So those are all things we have to be uh, careful, uh, careful about. Uh, as we look at the visual field, this is an octopus visual field, the right eye is barely even registering, uh, you know, some scattered uh, defects, but the left eye, you know, has a, has a uh, you know, kind of an, uh, an arcuate scotoma here that uh, uh, according to HAP criteria, we would, you know, we would grade that in the moderate, moderate type range. Um, in the right eye, the visual field, uh, these are these, you know, for those who have never seen an octopus print out, these four are the right eye, these four are the left eye. And so the right eye is saying that the field is stable, uh, but the left eye is also is saying, it's being flagged, is saying this local defect is, is larger by some significant amount. So that really is being flagged. But the, the, the question, those of us who do, do glaucoma, you know, we always ask ourselves, okay, is this real or are they just having a bad visual field day? And, it, and it's often hard, hard to tell. Uh, so it seems like, according to OCT, that left eye might be progressing, and it seems like the field is is changing. But what would many of us do? We'd say, well, we're not. Let's let's have them back and do another field in a month or two or three, and then we'll make a determination before we start to change treatment. That's what that's what many you know many of uh, of us would would say. Um, so we do uh, we do an ERG. And, uh, and we do a, a PHNR uh, EH, uh, ERG, and this is the right eye here, and this is the left eye here. And so these numbers are just a little bigger for ease of convenience. And so the, um, uh, the, you know, what we're, what we're kind of seeing here is the implicit time in the right eye is 18%, uh, percent, which is outstanding. The implicit time in the left eye is 76%, not, not nearly as good. Um, and the uh, amplitude in the right eye is 63%, uh, here, not bad. The amplitude in the left eye is 35%, not nearly as good. So even though we're only being flagged on the W ratio in the left eye, when we start to dig into these percentages and the differences between the two, you know, the difference between a 76% and 18% is, is, is huge, and the difference between a 35% and 63% that's the information that I need to say, all right, this, there's definitely something happening in this left eye. This left eye is, is being stressed. We need to take more aggressive action to get this pressure down.
Um, and one final piece of the puzzle, uh, here are the, uh, the, the, the retinal, uh, the optic nerve uh, photos from our OptiMap. Uh, here's the right eye, here's the left eye. If you look really, really closely here, you can, we can kind of tease out that here is uh, a really small transheme. Uh, and so, so, you know, that really kind of puts it all together uh, to say, all right, our patient, uh, the, 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 the ganglion cells and the nororetinal rim is being stressed out. We need to be more aggressive. So it's nice to have that ERG confirmation uh, uh, and, and, uh, because otherwise sometimes you're just left, in, you know, you're left scratching your head thinking that they just have a bad visual field day. But with ERG, it gives me the, the confidence to be able to act more quickly uh, to help out our, our glaucoma patients. And then case number five, ERG raises uh, the level of concern versus what our conventional thing, uh, uh, in, you know, uh, information gives us. So we have a 74 year old white female uh, is after cataract surgery, also had uh, KDB uh, along with that uh, in 2017, then had SLT in 2019, had a repeat KDB. This was a really unusual case. Normally we don't repeat KDBs, but in her case we, we did. Patient is on Roclitan and Sembrinza. Uh, the corneal corrected IOP is 14 and the right on 21.2. Hysteresis is 10.6 and 9.4 and there are the PACs at 560. The Tmax is 38.8 and 45.9. Here's a patient that uh, needs a trap definitely needs a trap. However, what she says is, um, what she's saying uh, that uh, she said, you know, my husband's really sick. I, I, I'm not going to do a trap right now uh, until, until he's either in a, you know, until he's in a, a different state because um, she can't, he can't uh, do it now. So this is kind of the situation that we're in. Um, and we do see, uh, as time goes by, uh, the OCT progressing, both the ganglion cell complex uh, trend analysis and the nerve fiber layer trend analysis. And uh, in the left eye, a uh, similar thing. Um, you know, you're just looking at the, the, the patterns, uh, they're changing, confirmed by trend analysis uh, in the left eye. And, um, and then the visual field, uh, what we see is, um, you know, the visual field actually uh, is, is, you know, it'd probably be graded as moderate in, in both, but not as bad as, as I would have expected based uh, upon those OCTs. Um, and, then, uh, and then we go ahead and, um, uh, and do, uh, do a visual field. And so the structure's telling us that it's progressing. The field is telling us, is being flagged, that is progressing uh, as well. Um, and then when we do the ERG, the ERG confirms that uh, by looking at the PHNR at minimum in the right eye, uh, is saying that uh, we're at 8% on the amplitude uh, in the right eye and we're at 1% um, amplitude in the left eye. So PHNR minimum 8% in the right eye, 1% in the left eye. Uh, so 8% right eye and 1% in the left eye. So that tells us that the eyes are under even more stress than, uh, than I expected. Uh, based on what what we saw, so uh, unfortunately in this case we said, hey, you you know you really do need a trab, um, and she said, okay, I'll let you know when my husband's in a different situation. And then uh, we said, okay, but we you know we're, we this concerns us. We we need to act soon, and so that's kind of where we're at for her. But the ERG when I see that saw those PHNR uh, at uh, at minimum. Uh, amplitudes being so low, you know, 1% in that left eye, that even, that raised our level of concern even higher, and it was already pretty high.